Where? What would you do? You can't go to the right. There's a man there. You can't fit your car in there. You can't go around the outside here because this is not a line. This is like, see that black mark there? It's a single path. Welcome back to Virginia. I'm gonna do this as a special kind of release on Saturday. Normally I don't release videos on Saturdays, but whatever. Um, this is one of my last races at Virginia that I'm gonna do this week. I've been farming it as much as I possibly can. I seem to really hook up here, unlike some of the other tracks that Class C in the MX-5 runs at. So we'll start right off. We're gonna have some interesting stuff happen right away. So uh, we'll hit the old, uh, the old go button. And we can uh, watch the action unfold. So you see right away some interesting things off the line there. Okay, post editing Scott here. Let's take a look at that jump restart. So the four people who want to look at the four cars ahead of me, the blue and white guy gets it right. So we're going to take a look at the leader right now. Tiny jump start. And the two other people jump and jump. And then the rest of the field goes. Me and the rest of the field are a little bit slow. The blue and white guy gets it absolutely right. So what that ends up doing is means that he's compromised. The leader I don't think is as egregious because he stopped again and then started when the light actually went down. The other two um, immediately faster than everybody else. Um, you can see that the teal guy ended up way slowing down. I think he got a black flag immediately off the line and he just straight up gave up. Uh, you can't see my uh, lights out in the replay. So you see that guy go backwards immediately. We got two, two, uh, I had some, I had some bad runnings here. Um, I don't want to say bad runnings. They were okay runnings, uh, but it was, they were okay runnings because of result of front end damage. Um, this track is, has many, many straights. There's the one going down, the whoopties in the back. Guy goes off there. It's pretty common. There are quite a few drivers here. Uh, I think it was just under, just under 30. We're driving uh, from qualifying. We have another guy go off up here. So he's gone. So as of right now, we're in fifth. Fifth is a good place to be. Now, it's, I think that's where I qualified. Or fourth, something like that. It was uh, trying to warm up my tires here. Uh, so my running on um, previous laps and the reason I still was so slow through that first corner is I had front end damage and it ruins your whole race. So if you have front end damage here, um, you're not going to be able to get up to speed on the three very large straights, and you're going to end up losing it. Um, Michael decides that he's going to mow the grass. He goes off. He almost takes us out coming back on. Uh, and now I'm up into fourth. Uh, I've done several things practicing on this track since the last video that I uploaded. Um, I'm weak into that double uh, apexed um hairpin and then i'm fairly weak into the roller coaster and turn one i can be kind of iffy everywhere else i'm generally pretty good so i've really been practicing those braking going up the hill again I'm, i have to make it a two braking kind of system and that wasn't a very good example my tires are very cold so uh, i have been getting a lot better at that and the in through here i'm really strong so into fourth Finishing the first lap, uh, all clean, no incident points, no damage, pretty happy. So we will have, um, through this section, is pretty unremarkable. We got a couple people that we really want to keep an eye on. Um, who are they? They are David. Is David already gone? David's already gone. Okay, we don't have to worry about David. We'll talk about him earlier, uh, later on. And then Henry, who's in first place. He's Umbre with white, bright white wheels. Now I'm much faster than this guy in front of me, like by miles. I'm trying to be a bit, tires are still cold. We're not up to temp yet. So some of this section here requires you to have warm tires in order to actually get it through. If you're ready to shift up when you come into that first set of three you're doing pretty good as far as speed goes in my opinion anyway and then third before the the shadow of the bridge 
which we did. Uh, that's kind of my markers for knowing how fast you're going to be going. I will mention I did a very good qualifying lap. It was a 210s. Uh, 210s by yourself, for me, anyway. Very difficult to do. I think, do I bump this guy? No, I don't. I do to keep control, and I've decided to stay in second here. Um, it allows me to do two things. One, to be on the power a lot earlier, which helps me through this straight, and that's pretty much how I fix that corner. I only go down into second. Really what I've tried to do is simplify the corner as much as I can. If you're in trying to go down to first and knowing when to do that, my brain can't do that. So just second, early on the power, and it's helped me a lot to get that corner much more right. Going up the hill here, again, still too heavy on the brakes, and then uh, Cardo goes off. Now I'm in the third. Third place. This is a podium position right now on the second lap. Pretty good. We were we were going to get Ricardo anyway. He wasn't very quick, and he's way down past tenth. So he's had it. Anytime you go off the roller coaster, it's a bad time. So we have uh, we have an interesting fellow behind us. Um, I'm going to call him Mr. Pink. Mr. Pink. Why am I Mr. Pink? Why can't we pick our own colors? Why I pick. You're Mr. Pink. From now on, uh, Mr. Pink is quicker than us. So we get some times floating in there. Um, I don't know what his name is. We'll see when he comes up in my actual... I don't have any rear view mirror during this replay. I think he's... I think he's Maddox. Pretty sure. So he didn't have a clean lap. Near, neither did Henry. I did 2.11.3 on my second lap. Or actually, no, that was the first... First actual completed lap. Not counting the, uh... The out lap, I guess. Your, your starting lap. Um, that's pretty quick for me. I... That's pretty much still cold tires, so I'm doing very well. I'm only like four tenths off of Bobby. I'm Bobby. Bobby is also not faster than us, but only by a, like a very slight amount. The gap right now is three or so seconds. Um, if it were left to the full laps and I didn't have to worry about anything else, I could catch Bobby at the end all by myself. I'm pretty sure. Uh, because I begin to put in two tens pretty consistently. Um, again, just big practice. The the second gear here really helps me out. It allows me to wash out the corner a lot more. And I've tried to imagine that corner being a swooping, not double apex, which is what it is, but just kind of imagining it. It's like a, a really single apex swooping corner. Disregard that the inside of that asphalt exists. It doesn't exist. And it allows me to get um, some pretty good speed. You're going to be 220 in that dip, 101 in the first dip. Um, those are kind of where your shifting points are, so you, you want to be at those when you're on that straight. If you're not hitting that, you're getting the the uh, the ends of those uh, hairpin wrong. In here, again, simplifies basically how I go about it. I don't have the skill or the sight to be able to do it breaking into there so just don't no gas no anything at all as soon as you hit the rumble strips coming into that section where it goes down uh you just kind of I can't remember what it's called into 16 17 you just uh you don't use the gas at all i find it very good gas on as soon as you hit the hit the corner and, and i've gotten a lot better at turn one uh really feathering the brake is where that speed comes from and later braking I only mess it up I think like really once or twice here I've gotten to the point where I can go third there this corner is still kinda iffy but I find it doesn't really matter because it's immediately negated by this little section here so if you mess up that part doesn't really that mu matter that much so again you want to be shifting up before you get to the shadow just barely um, I want to be a little bit earlier than that. Okay, so we have uh, Mr. Pink behind us uh, doing a 2.10.1. So obviously uh, his fastest lap is a lot faster than ours. He is following fairly close, so he's getting some of that draft. Um, he's using that to his advantage. I think he generally he's a faster driver than me. Um, I would put him on par with me, though, because I tend to drive a lot faster when I have somebody in front of me. Not just because of draft, just uh, uh, what uh, the 
streamer that I watch, Chris, I can't remember his last name. Stewart? Um, uh, he uses the analogy carrot on a stick, and I love that. That's exactly. If I have somebody in front of me, not too far, um, it really gives me that incentive to do that. So Mr. Pink is on our left here. Uh, I just said to let him go uh, for two reasons. One, I, I can't do the roller coaster very well, and obviously he's a bit better at it. Uh, that's his strong suit. Uh, but my plan right now with Mr. Pink is to keep up with him. If I can keep him within a second, 1.2 seconds to be exact, down the back straight, um, I can use him to pull me up to the top three. Again, left to my own devices, I think I could catch Bobby. But Mr. Pink's kind of in the way now, so we got to use him. So he does the 1091 with draft from me. Uh, so that's that's pretty quick. Um, as far as what I've seen so far in practice, qualifying and racing in either the second or bottom split, 1028 uh, ish is really as fast as I've kind of seen. I think. Um, so right now, just trying to get really clean through this section so that I don't lose them. Again, I do a pretty good job here. I'm able to hook up this part, so I'm into third even before we hit this section here. So I'm I'm going really good, and that gap is it's not not disappearing. So I'm into fourth way early, which is good. You can't really be any faster there because if you if you're going up here and you you get this good. If you're faster, you'll wash out to the side, or the car will want you to shift up. I get this section really well, too. That's good. And then as right now, Mr. Pink's in sight. All I gotta do is make, make this, and boom, we're good. We're, we're within... I don't know what the gap is. Again, Race Labs doesn't work in replays, but um, well, some of it does. We're 1.1 seconds, I think. So I'm close enough to get a little bit. Um, he's going to pull me along. See the car getting a little bigger. A little bigger, you know. Is it really... Mm, it wants to shift up to fifth a little bit earlier. There, again, we get the roller coaster really good that time. So you can see the braking pattern there. Again, it should be one braking pattern, but when I do that, I crash. So I got two in there, which is pretty good. Off the gas. Down into here. Back on the gas once you hit that little dip. I would like to see that happen a little earlier. And as I get further to the end and I lose some weight in the car from the, uh, less fuel, um, I start to ride the gas a little bit more going down that hill. Just a little bit. Um, and that is... That's a 20964. Now again, I had a little bit of draft, but not much. I didn't have a lot of draft. I wasn't right on his back end where I was kind of coming up to the point where I would think about making a move. 2096 is, in my personal opinion, that's as fast as I can go around here. Mid 209s, I have a little mistake here. Um, just a little mistake, not too bad. I lose about three tenths on him there. Maybe a little bit more. But again, I got a 2096, that's insanity to me. We're talking about a partially blind guy here. I can't see a lot of stuff. <laughs> And this is kind of my strong suit. When I get behind somebody, I got a carrot on a stick thing happening. Thanks, Chris. And then you, you get a little bit of um, momentum from um, being in the draft. Again, I get part of the section really good, so I'm catching up to him again. I think he just has a bad time through there. So this is what I say when Mr. Pink is a little bit um, on par with me. Uh, as soon as he gets somebody behind him, he starts making a few mistakes. He goes in very close there. And he makes the mistake of being tight through there. And again, I gain on him in that in that hairpin, which is, that's good. I wasn't doing that before or any of my previous races. So I really did work on that. 296. So all I got to do is get the roller coaster right and the, uh, whatever it is, the other dip part. The whole thing is like the roller coaster, basically. 14 through 17. I don't do as well here. Again, too much on the brakes again. Not super consistent, but I'm good enough that I can actually stick with him. And that's really all I want. I want to pull up. So it's hard to tell from this, but we are slowly, I want to say like three, four tenths a lap, catching 
uh, Bobby. And that's really the goal here. If we can catch second, first, Henry, he's kind of gone, despite having a jump start. A very minuscule jump start. I don't think it counted. Hood on my thing is killing my neck here. Again, I get really good into this first corner. Or he does really bad. No, my split times were good, so I don't have any split times where I really lost too much there, so. I didn't go into first, though, which is kind of odd. That was a fuck up on my part. Again, really good through there. Hitting that inner curb is really important. And I'm not so hot through there. Too much on the brakes. Lose too much time. But again, I'm able to hit that. And I'm into third even before this uh, little left, right, left. Or right, left, right. No. Left, right, left. Left, right, left complex that you kind of make into a straight. Again, Mr. Pink has taken some weird lines here. I think he's making some mistakes because he's got me in his rear view mirror. He doesn't wash out the corner. Oh, good, the dog's here. What do you want, Turnip? How you doing? Yeah, why don't you go back to sleep? So I think he's making a lot of mistakes here. He washed out super hard there, and I gained half a second on him. So I'm right on his back bumper. Like, right on his back bumper. Again, we're doing some low 210s pretty much every lap uh, from memory. And again, Bobby is not. Um, his fastest is a 210. So I'm actually bump drafting here. This is my thoughts during the race. I don't want to fight Mr. Pink. I think, ultimately, two things are going to happen. One, he's going to make a mistake because he sees me in his rearview mirror. We've already established he's doing some... I do one breaking zone there, right? We already established he's making some minor mistakes because he sees me. Two, if he doesn't, I think we're going to catch Bobby, and ultimately, that's third place for me anyway. And third, I mean, that's insane. Podium places in Class C? Unheard of for me. So, we just want to do that. One of those two things to happen. So, I don't want to fight Mr. Pink. I think in the front, same result. I'm a little bit slower in the front because he's following me. We're, our pace is very similar is what I'm saying. And personally, I'd rather have the carrot on the stick. Um, the gap back to whoever in fifth is a lot. As a, at this point right now, it's like 11 seconds and growing. So this is the race. This is fourth through first. And we're just trying to keep it together. Now, Bobby has made a few few little mistakes here. Again, I don't get a super good drive in through here. So I've lost out on... Maybe that's the next corner I really kind of need to work at. I think I'm done with Virginia for the week, though. I've had a really good run there, so I don't think I'm going to do any more, but... Um, that corner, um, that hard-breaking corner, a turn... What is it? Five, no, six. Turn six. I need to work on that. I can carry a lot more speed in through there. I'm just a bit terrified of doing so. And the roller coaster, but I will never be good at that. I don't know what the dog's doing. He's staring at the wall. Again, Mr. Pink is not having a good time through this uh, thing, and he, al he almost loses it there. Oh, a lot of poo shot out, man! Again, this one of two things are going to happen. He's either going to make a mistake because I'm behind him, or um, we're going to catch Bobby. And as of right now, he's we're kind of doing both. Which just goes to show how slow Bobby actually kind of is. He's holding it together. He's just, his ultimate laps are not that fast. He's too far away for me to tell where we're better than him. I think it's through the roller coaster. Again, there's that sort of double braking zone. The second peak there you see in braking, it does slow me down. I would like it to be just a little bit enough, enough to get rotation, and it should be a little bit later. So Bobby should hit the rumble strips when we're coming around. Again, Mr. Pink takes some weird lines here. He's very tight on that side. On a qualifying lap, that's what you want to do because it actually shortens the whole track because you don't care what your speed is because the lap's over. Um, but you don't normally do that in a race because it worsens your speed going into turn one. And as a result of that, here I am, right behind him again. Um, yeah, again, Mr. Pink, he's better in some places and worse in some others. And I have a little bit of a hairy moment 
and it doesn't really affect me that much. There, that's that's a lot better. I have to dance with the throttle there, but I felt like that was a little bit better going through there. Hmm, maybe not. So again, that gap behind us is growing again. Uh, so I really feel like, as of right now, a terrible thing can happen, and I like a, a medium terrible thing can happen, and I would still be in fourth, as long as no damage was associated. So I can afford to like be a little bit more crazy. Although we will look on the right hand on the right hand side of the screen, zero out of twenty five minutes in the points, and that's the end of the race. Uh, so. It's a little bit of a spoiler alert. I don't do anything terrible. I almost have an off track there, though. Okay, using second there to try to keep up. Mr. Pink has pulled out a little bit of a gap now. Um, mostly due to his ability to do that hairpin a little bit better than me. I suspect that he's doing it in first. Which is why he was having a, a bit of a hairy time. So he gained a little bit and then he lost a little bit the lap before. In my mind, I'd rather have it be safe be able to do it every time again there's that the key to the roller coaster is sticking really close on the left leading up to it that makes it be a straight line all the way through um, and I just in, in order to do that you need to be brave because if you're not if you don't square off that corner or not that's not really yeah you kind of square off to make that corner not exist the little left kink going up to the roller coaster you have to be late on the turn in, but if you're too late, you hit the wall. You'll you'll like you'll mess up your breaking points so bad that you'll just lose it all. I'm still better in here than Mr. Pink. You can see that? Slow down on the brakes and slow up on the on the gas. Um, the Ferrari taught me that because if you do anything else there, traction control will not save you in the Ferrari. And I'm quite a good in through here. So Mr. Pink's good, but he's not losing me in certain places. I brake too early here. You can see that little blip? Perfect. That's exactly what you want to do. Just a little blip on the brakes. And then boom, I'm already up in the third and in through the right, left, right. So that's how you want to do that little corner here. Again, putting in two tens pretty consistently. Everything from two ten in the middle, two tens to low two tens. And that's when I kind of catch. So you can see Mr. Pink, he is almost within a second of a bubby. So another thing that's happening right now, we're about 10 laps into an approximately 13, 14 lap race. Um, lap traffic, you can see up ahead of us. Um, I'm fourth, you can see fifth. I get a little loose there. Again, it doesn't really matter. It's safe because I'm in second. You're not gonna get that. If I was in first there, I would have crashed. Um, you can see fourth through first. And then we have 19th and 20th and all that kind of stuff mixed inside. So we're getting into lap traffic. Lap traffic is good for us. So we want to try to catch Henry. He's a long way off. He's a good 10 seconds up the up the up the road. And the gap behind us now is in the mid teens. So no worries there as far as anybody catching us as long as everything stays clean. So you can see Bobby is getting into lap traffic. I would say this lap traffic is less than amicable in letting the leaders by. When I have lap traffic come by, the first, second, third, I don't, I don't bother those guys. If it's able for me to move over, and this guy does move over, he does, he does he's, maybe Bobby just got to him in the wrong spot. I, I let first, second, third through. I don't bother any of those kind of guys. And this guy's pretty good, actually. He's, uh, if you'll notice who this is, though, uh, this is the guy at the very first. <laughs> Um, flames with pink wheels. What's his name? David. Yes. He lets us by though. Um, but that was the guy who qualified ahead of us and who had a little issue at the start. Uh, I always let first, first or third by. As you go down the field, and did I have a bad opening lap or are they actually faster than me? I'll let people buy. This guy's very amicable and lets me buy. Oh, that's great. That's uh, that's more than I would have asked. But you're lap down. Really, what are you fighting for? 
Not much. Having a terrible time instead of a massively terrible time. Okay, so um, Mr. Pink has caught Bobby. Bobby. Why you do this to me, Bobby? So we caught him. And now he's right on the back of him. Now I will note something about Mr. Pink. Mr. Pink is a B-class driver. And he has a fairly good I rating for this split that we're in. It's not 0.2 or something like that. But his safety rating is not good. One point, what does that say? 1.2 safety rating? Do you know what kind of driver you gotta be to be a 1.2 safety rating? Like that is, that's low. That's real low. That's like a, oh wait, is that his safety rating or is that his I rating? No, that's his safety rating, 1.2. Okay, so Bobby is a is uh, Mr. Pink is now ahead of Bobby. Now I can't really see from this view. I'm gonna look over on my big TV. Mr. Pink goes to the inside, tries to defend from Bobby, runs him wide, and hits him. Now Bobby makes it through, and Mr. Pink has less of a good time. There was no yelling, so, but I think Mr. Pink really didn't give him room to be there. He had the inside, and he was ahead, I will say that, but he took a defensive line and then pretended that he didn't. Now, two things could have happened. He could have had a really poor braking, um, and it just, he was having an accident, and there happened to be somebody there, or he could have just been trying to squeeze him. Now, if I was Bobby, I would have braked early and tried for the switchback drop my pen. Um, I would try to break early and um, do the switchback, which you can do there. And having known um, Mr. Pink and his driving style through there, he doesn't do a good turn or one, a turn one, so I probably could have done the switchback. But we're up into P3 now, um, which doesn't make any sense because it says Maddox is in first, but that's not right. Um, we're in P2 because uh, we passed Bobby and Mr. Pink. Why... Race Labs thinks he's in first. I don't know. Oh, I think I know why. Oh, I think he went to the garage. I think he's actually... He must have had some sort of wheel damage or something. They did clatter together um, on the back end of Mr. Pink, so he might have just went right to the garage. And that kind of... When they tow you around... Oh, oh, God. Did you see that? Oh, my God. I almost crap my pants because that was a lap car getting the roller coaster wrong and coming back onto the track it's very hard to go back onto the track in roller coaster you're almost better to just drive down the hill and forget that that whole section like go from turn 14 all the way down to 17 just skip it because trying to get yourself to come back on now they have fixed the grass and the sand in iRacing it's no longer insanity especially on these lower leagues but it's very hard to get yourself back on there safely. Now, I would say, for me, that wasn't a safe rejoin. Um, if you're making other people crap their pants, um, maybe you're getting it wrong. Again, I'm now flustered, but really, the gap behind is fairly big, and I believe, over regular laps, I'm faster than Bobby. I don't think he's gonna catch us. He did have an accident, though, so. Um, I suspect that Bobby is now carrying um, some damage. I didn't see any when we drove by, um, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have damage. So right now, first, is that first right there? No. No, we got two lap cars in between us and first is now just going into, he's, he's there, he's just going into the straight right now, so. Again, more people. Flames with bright wheels. You don't trust them. It's, it's deadly. If anybody's running flames with bright colored wheels, I think of like mullet, bright colored hair, tattooed dude wearing a cut off shirt. That's what I think of. And, and, that's, and that's terrifying for me, so... Don't run that lever. 
Run something else. Flames are not your friend. Again, almost get. Got a little few little blips there too. Uh, almost get um, that single breaking zone into the roller coaster. Again, the gap to Bobby is growing. He's obviously has some damage, or he's just not. He's shaken. But he's pretty much gone, and then this lap car, Mr. Mullet Flames, is uh, keeping him up. There were so many Mullet Flames people. Uh, to be honest, Henry is also Mullet Flames, although he's running white wheels, which is nearly a pass. I know I'm having a rant with wheel color here, but if you're running bright wheels, like my race car has bronze wheels. I feel like that's as flashy as you can go. Well, actually, they're kind of like gunmetal bronze. They're like a weird muted color. I get this pretty good. Now we're coming up to lap 14. I believe this is the last lap. We don't have many races go past 14 here. We have to get um, things just right. So it's just a matter of finishing out the race. Second place. And I feel like if Henry had a mo somewhere, it wouldn't be unrealistic for me to get first. And who... What does Henry have for a lap? A 2099. I think Mr. Pink had a faster lap than us. Oh, there's a 2095 from Adam Baker. I'm real close to the fastest lap, though. Which is... Yes, it was with draft, but whatever. It, oh, no, it was the lap before I had a lot of draft, so it was almost all me. Not quite. Um, but that is... I don't know how I... I can, there are 208s are possible, and I'm sure if somebody shows me a video on YouTube, somebody doing a 207.9 or something like that, but 208 is possible. Not for me, though. I think 209 is probably my limit. Especially not being able to do this roller coaster. There's the one breaking zone. And again, just not brave enough to do that. You can wash out into that area, though, but... The gain from that is so minuscule. And yes, I know, you can hold the gas in there and then brake right as you're going over that little lip. But it's so dangerous. Again, simplify. That's how you get consistent running. And again, my average lap time here is 2.11, which is pretty good. So, I don't know what happened to Mr. Pink. I don't see him anywhere. And that's the race. I would like to see what happened to Mr. Pink, but we'll look at that. Uh, we'll look at the incidents, and then we'll look at the uh, we'll look at the results, and maybe we'll see Mr. Pink in there. I'm sure we'll see Mr. Pink in the incidents. So, okay, let's take a look at incidents. Uh, we got some interesting stuff to go through. Uh, there's a couple little stories here that I'd like to follow. Just mini stories within a race. I think a race is mostly stories. Is it? Is the tale is told through different laps? You get little things that happen that are missed. And I feel like this is what's wrong with Formula One. You miss all those little stories. And that, that's probably why Drive to Survive is so popular. Because it captures little stories that you don't really get to see all the time. So I want to take my time and look at some of those stories. So let's go in through here. Start off. Coming up. This is first corner. Um, quite the rear end doesn't ruin your life but this is first place and he loses it way off so that's flames with pink wheels uh, coming up here oh many killed this is first place other flames with white wheels and you can see why I avoid people that have flames with funny color wheels he has to sit here for the entire grid. Feels bad, man. Uh, this is the first corner roller coaster. That's not how you do it. And he actually got kicked out of the track. He went so far off. Again, roller coaster. Nope. Just a little bit wide there. First lap. Oh, I saw this guy. Wow. Yeah. In the pits. Yes, we already saw it. Oh, this is Mr. Pink. Again, he has a 1.2 safety rating. He's killing people. Um, this poor guy is like in the middle of the track. Um, 
The inside line there, that's not an inside line. You can't pass there like that. Unless you do that, obviously. Give yourself four instant points. And five for the other guy, because he went off track. Um, this is the guy in the middle. He's doing donuts in here. and <laughs> This is a little... This is a sad story. This is not... It's a tragedy, even. Um, and he <laughs> ends up just cutting the whole track. I don't think you can do that, but whatever. Um, flames with pink wheels. Just a little touch. I wouldn't say that's necessarily his fault. I wouldn't put my car there. That there might have been his. In fact, we're going to take a little bit of more. Let's take a little bit of look at this. No, I want to see. I want to see this guy's. This little story. Okay, see, he's obviously faster. Despite being in what I believe to be. Um. Yeah, he's got flames. Yeah, he does. There are some hidden flames there. So you know there's going to be a problem. Also, I think he's that anime thing. What's that? What's that? Not anime. The cartoon race car. I can't remember his name. Speed Queen or something like that. Anyway, so he's a bit faster than all these guys. And the other flames driver is having a moment. He goes up the inside here now. Where, what would you do? You can't go to the right. There's a man there. You can't fit your car in there. You can't go around the outside here because this is not a line. This is like, see that black mark there? It's a single path. Really, you can only put one car through there. If you try to put two, the, ins the inside guy here is going to hit the wall or you're going to hit this curb and go flying off. But what do you think happens? Puts his car in there. Now, where, what track are you going to? Break, mother, jeez, break. That's what you want to do, otherwise. Yeah, that was, a, that was, that's the option I would have chosen. Your race is over, dude. You got wheel damage, you got no front bumper, and you're bridged against a wall. Okay, now, he, I think he quits out. So we get these guys again, the white cars. Oh, no. Yeah, we got to go back and look at this, because this is ridiculous. What's going on here? I don't know who... I think this is the same thing. This guy trying to make a move down here. I don't know that this is all in order. It's not. No, this is a different because the other time that he hit him on the inside like that, he's doing the same thing. And that's the same guy from before. Oh my god. You can't make a move there. I mean, you can. It's not going to work. Did he do anything from that? No, you're just slowing yourself down and everybody else. So we got three white coming down the first part of the straight here. Guy in the other white and red car is being brave. I don't know if that's what you want to do. And I got a wedge. I mean, that's ridiculous. Hilarious even. Okay, let's, let's, let's continue on. Uh, this is the guy that was in first, and now he's battling with the guy in last place, and being killed by him. Oh, how things can poorly happen. I think that's behind the other crash that was happening. Okay, this guy's just having a bad last corner, blinking as well. It's one of the white and red guys. I want to see the guy that goes off track of the roller coaster and nearly kills me. I believe it's this gray guy that was doing it. Oof, that's rough. I think he quit out. What's going on here? Okay, here we go. No, oh, whatever with that. Is there more? Oh, these are people just quitting out, I think. No, these people are still racing. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's what happens if you get that corner wrong. Again, this is coming to the end. Oh. He's still trying. He's trying to hit the gas. What happened to my car? Well, see, you went into first before you could. Or you, he kind of already had some damage, so. Yep. This is... Flames McPink Wheels. Rejoin. Nobody goes on the outside there, though, so. It's Mr. Pink! Oh, this is the incident. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. We want to go back. 
Okay, so Mr. Pink has already got him. He got him on the straight. So he's going here, but we have established that Mr. Pink takes a weird line through here. Now, you'd think this is the defending line. Because he's already... He got him. He got him going down. Wow, he get, did he get him here? Wow, what a weird line. So Bobby's not so good at certain places. Mr. Pink has gotten, gotten him here. Going down into this ditch area. It's a very odd turn. And that has compromised... He's breaking right there, which is super sketchy. That's compromised his straight. That's what. Now, you'd think that normally, if, if you're in this kind of compromised position, you take, you, take, uh, you take the inside to kind of be defending. But that's not what Mr. Pink does. Mr. Pink naturally drives here. I followed him for many laps. So this is just where he drives. And he puts his wheel almost in the grass on the inside. Maybe he knows something I don't. But it compromises him coming in the first corner. Okay, so you've taken a defensive line. I know from driving behind Mr. Pink that that's just kind of his line. Not that part that has all the black marks where people normally drive to take that corner. No, no, no. Mr. Pink's different. So he's had to break pretty early. Now, if it were me... Okay, let's see. He's break. They're both in the brakes the exact same time. I would have braked even earlier and tried to do the switch back. Now Mr. Pink is now, he's in a defending position. There's no car behind, beside him though. But he's braking so early. And like he's not turning in. Is he turning in? He's still straight. I, I have to understand what's going on here. Shift, 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 shift. I mean... He didn't actually turn. As of this point, this is your apex. He's just started to turn now. So best case scenario, he's going to go for that tree right there. That's where his... See that little line where the straightness of the wheel is? Oh, no, sorry. Even this tree right here. So he's not going to make it. <laughs> okay, let's go back and we'll, we'll, we'll finish this out. I, that's Mr. Pink's fault. I mean... He was ahead. He had the inside line. He was defending. I think he's faster, but he didn't take the corner. You still have to take the corner. You can't just not take the corner. He's got pretty heavy damage on the left-hand side. I'd probably say he's had wheel damage. Oh, and we have another spinner. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, your car's done. I don't think it was done from the first hit, but it definitely was from the second. Oh, my God. Okay, let's just keep going. Uh, didn't he do that before? I'm pretty sure he did that before. Is this the guy? Okay. No. Just no. As somebody... Who is not on the lead lap? I know this because at this point I'm in second. There's only one guy ahead of me, and it's not this guy. What is he doing? Okay, you have second place coming up. You have anybody coming up? It is your responsibility, as the person who has gone off the track of their own volition, to rejoin safely. If it were me. And I wanted to rejoin safely here. One, look to your right. Uh, his field of view from his camera, depending on his FOV, is kind of like here. He can see this. You can also use these things. You can hear people coming. And if you want a map, look left, look right. To your, to your steering wheel, you can do that. I would recommend it. It is my left and right button on mine. I don't use it very often. In this situation, I would. Um, and then, bare minimum, I would wait. Second bare minimum, I would rejoin here. It's pretty easy to point your car there and do that rejoin. At the very least, you can see all the black marks on the track. That's where cars usually end up being. If you're here, at the very least, it's better to rejoin on the inside of a corner, ultimately, because 
I mean, you can kind of control what's going on there. It really depends on the corner, but... No! Oh, God! Evasive actions is what I had to take there. And I'm in second place! Terrifying. I would kick him out of the race. Also, he gets in Bobby's way. I hear a lap down, dude. I'm pretty sure that he went off there before. Just get out of the way. I mean, I'm happy that he ruined Bobby's race so he couldn't catch me. Bobby's not passing him. Okay, anyway. He does let him by eventually. And has an accident. It's the same guy. Oh, blinker. It's the same guy. It's him again. Am I just following the same? No, he's having multiple. Oh, it's just showing the same one over. Over and over again. Okay, I think that's it. That is all. I was going to say, because that would have been ridiculous. The replay has shat the bed. Okay, so we'll take a look at results. I would say pretty interesting race. Uh, not for me. I had absolutely zero. Okay, results. Um, I'm obstructing the results a little bit. We'll scroll down so we can see. But we can see safety rating change of 0.31 for me. I'm getting up there. I'm only a little ways away from um, I might farm Virginia a little bit more. I'd like to get my 3.0, um, which will qualify me for Class B uh, and the season change, which is exciting. Um, and then a 76 I rating change. That's great. Overall, I did not get the best I rating change. It was Henry in first place. Um, his average lap times were quite good. Um, his ultimate speed lap time, though, not as good. He had five incident points, so certain people we want to take a look at. Mr. Pink, who is Maddox something. He ends up in 10th. Was he running at the end? He was. He did keep going, although I suspect that he had to go back to... Um, the pits after his crash with Bobby and then with whatever that lap car was doing, parking in the middle of the track. Um, then the, we want to see somebody else. Um, his name is Henry, and he was the guy with the jump start. I don't... No, 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 Henry. He also... No, he didn't... Did he have a jump start? I can't remember. There's so many people with jump starts at the first. No, his name wasn't Henry. What the frig is his name? David. His name is David. I wrote it down. I think that's him there. Is there multiple Davids? There is. I can't see if he's got pink wheels or not. I believe that's him. Where did he start? Fourth. Yeah, he started right in front of us. And he finished in 23rd with 13 incident points, <laughs> nine laps down. He had such a rough race. Um, and then the fellow that had the incident at the start, no, that's the other guy. I don't know what his name was. It's one of these guys. I think it might've been him. He actually had an okay race. So biggest loser here though is Michael who had a very good uh, minus 110. I think he died the first lap. Disconnected, 14 laps down. Yeah, he might not have even started. Anyway, so yeah, that's the race. Uh, very interesting. P2, podium in Class C. One of my best results. Very long video. I apologize. Had a good time, though. Thanks for joining me. Feel free to subscribe and like, and see you guys next time.